Hello, my dear students. Very good morning to one and all. This is Dr. Raj Shekhar Mairidi. Now we are in the chemistry laboratory discussing about the preparation of soap. How the soap is manufactured in the laboratory at a small scale. Now we let us look into the procedure, the preparation of soap. Before we discuss about the manufacturing of soap, let us have some discussion at understanding. Let us have some understanding about the soap. Soap is very important for our existence of life. Without soap, we cannot survive at least one day. It is very difficult. So as a human beings, we all are aware of soap, irrespective of subject and our background study also. There is a need for every human being to know how the soap is prepared because every day we will wash our clothes and also we will, we will shower. Without soap, we cannot survive. So it is mandatory for every human being to learn how to prepare the soap practically. So soap, uh, we can see there are different types of soaps are there. But as far as our laboratory is concerned, we will discuss about this preparation in a small scale, small amount of soap. So this is Dr. Raj Shekhar Medhi, Associate Professor in the Department of Chemistry, College of Computational and Natural Sciences, Kabri Dahar University. Somali region, Ethiopia. So let us see the now. So soap you can be of two different types. First one is hard soap. Second one is soft soap. The soap what we are using for shower, for bathing can be called as soft soap. And the soft soap what we will use for washing the clothes can be called as hard soap. Now today we will prepare the, how to prepare, we will see how to prepare the hard soap practically. So, generally hard soaps are nothing but the sodium salts of fatty acids which can be used for washing the clothes. And also the soft soap is called as potassium salts of fatty acids which can be used for our shower for bathing purpose. So let us see now, uh, coming to the hard soap, let us prepare hard soap in this laboratory. I think all the students are in time, you are very much interested to perform the laboratory. The last batch they have performed well. Now let us see the second batch, how they will perform. So before that I would like to explain the procedure here. So there is a procedure, there is a systematic procedure to follow in the laboratory. Aim means what is the objective that we are going to prepare now. Aim or objective is both are same. Let us see aim is to prepare hard soap. How to prepare the, the, the determination of hard soap. That is the aim of the experiment. Coming to the apparatus, we will see we should have the apparatus requires 50 ml of beaker, 2 beakers is enough and 200 ml of big beaker is enough and the glass rod is, should be there to stir the contents while cooling and, hot, and making it hot and also ice cubes very much essential, these are the apparatus. Coming to the chemicals, only two chemicals are required here that is sodium chloride 15 grams and sodium hydroxide 15 grams and also the very important solvent uh, that is coconut oil is very important. So three chemicals are needed, sodium chloride, sodium hydroxide and a coconut oil. Right, this is about the chemical required. Now let us see the procedure, how to prepare the soap, hard soap. So this is the procedure. First of all, weigh, uh, weigh the 15 grams of sodium hydroxide by means of a weighing machine and keep it in small beakers and put the 50 ml of water, distilled water and dissolve it by means of stirrer. Because it is exothermic re reaction between the sodium hydroxide and water, large amount of heat is liberated. We have to stir slowly until it becomes completely dissolved. Make it aside. And the second chemical is sodium chloride. Again, weigh the same 15 grams of sodium chloride into another beaker and put the 200 ml of water. Take the big beaker and stir it. Because it is salt, it's still, it will be dissolved very easily. Keep it aside. And the third chemical is nothing but the coconut oil. Take the coconut oil, 60 ml is enough, simply keep it aside in a small beaker. That is the preparation of chemicals. Now the procedure, just it's a theoretical, theoretical explanation, let us understand. Simply take the sodium hydroxide which is already prepared in the first beaker, keep it aside, bring that one and take the, so the coconut oil, what we have kept in the small beaker and slowly when the sodium hydroxide is already prepared, it is in the solution form. Slowly add this coconut oil, take another big beaker for careful uh, stirring and put it on the hot plate. 
when the solution is becoming hot slowly add the coconut oil into the sodium hydroxide solution so what happens is so by small uh, by put by when the heat is coming when heat is getting uh, getting on slowly stir the contents of coconut oil and the sodium hydroxide slowly by means of glass rod after making for 20 minutes the solution becomes so much viscous and it will be light cream color is obtained so the it is completed heating is completed now keep it aside now take the sodium chloride solution which is already prepared in second beaker that is 200 ml of sodium chloride solution is there bring that solution and mix with this oil plus sodium hydroxide which is already prepared just now slowly add that sodium chloride solution into that beaker by careful stirring with the glass rod so after stirring for some time you will see wonderfully two different layers are formed upper layer and the lower layer okay so keep it aside so that the two layers will be separated clearly keep it aside for 40 minutes then after 40 minutes you can see the two different layers are formed upper layer is white colors soapy layer is formed and the bottom layer is simply the normal solution layer is formed solvent layer is formed after that we have to take the mold that is plastic mold which is there you have to keep that plastic mold and take the upper super upper liquid which is cloudy uh, white colored which is called a soap layer keep it into that plastic mold and sl slowly transfer that that white colored upper layer into that plastic mold so keep it aside for five to six hours then after that if you see uh, after five hours or six hours you can see the you can make it turn off and make it uh, take, uh, remove that bar of soap from the plastic it is very hard in nature and you will see the rectangular form of soap is formed this is called as the hard soap preparation very simple preparation it's a small scale preparation so this is how the, the theory uh, that is explained uh, that we will perform now now this is the time for us to all the students get ready this is the time for us to perform the soap hard soap practically let us start the experiment now okay come